the variance is a measure of variability or spread that uses all of the data. So the range and the interquartile range are also measures of variability, but they only use two values each. The range uses the largest value and the smallest value, and the interquartile range uses the third quartile and the first quartile. So the benefit of the variance as a measure of variability is that it uses all of the data. Now we have two different variances depending on whether we're working with a population of data or a sample of data. If we're working with a population, we want to use the population variance. The population variance is written sigma squared, and it's equal to the sum of x minus mu the population mean squared divided by capital N, the size of the population. X minus mu is known as the deviations about the mean. So when we're computing the variance, we square the deviations about the mean. And the reason is because when we subtract the mean from each value, we're going to get some positive values and some negative values, and they're going to cancel each other out. So that the sum of the deviations about the mean is always going to be equal to zero, which would make it appear as if there was no variability in the data. So we square the deviations about the mean, so we only have positive values. Now, what we do with the squared deviations about the mean is we sum them up and divide by the number of them, which gives us the average of the squared deviations about the mean. And that's exactly what the population variance is. It's the average of the squared deviations about the mean. Now, if we're working with a sample of data, we want to use the sample variance, which we write S squared. And it's almost going to be the same formula. It's going to be the sum of x minus x bar, the sample mean, squared. But instead of dividing by n, we divide by n minus 1. So that's the main difference between the population variance and the sample variance. In the population variance, we divide by n. In the sample variance, we divide by n minus 1. Now let's look at an example. Suppose we have a sample of data, 10, 20, 12, 17 and 16. And we want to compute the variance. Now since this is a sample, we want to use the sample variance. Now the formula for the sample variance is quite complicated, so it's helpful to do this calculation in steps by creating a table. So in our table, in the first column, we're going to have the values. In the second column, we're going to have the deviations about the mean, x minus x bar. Now the sample mean of this data is 15. So 10 minus 15 is negative 5. 20 minus 15 is 5, 12 minus 15 is negative 3, 17 minus 15 is 2, and 16 minus 15 is 1. 
Now, if we sum this column, the deviations about the mean, notice that we're going to get zero, which is always going to be true when we sum the deviations about the mean. In our last column, we're going to compute the squared deviations about the mean, so the square of the previous column. So negative 5 squared is 25. 5 squared is 25. Negative 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. And 1 squared is 1. Then we want to sum this column and we get 64. So our sample variance is going to be equal to 64 divided by 5 minus 1, which is 4. So 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. So our sample variance is equal to 16.